Hello and welcome, my name is Daryl Sims and in today's video we're going to be checking out the STL Tone Hub plugin. In this video I'll give you a general overview of what the product is, what it does, how it works, I'll give you a full tour of the interface and how to use it, as well as obviously demo a few of the presets within the plugin for you to listen to. So let's get straight into it and check out what the program looks like and play around with some of its features. So when you open the STL Tone Hub it'll look a little bit like this. Let me go ahead and break this down from the top down. So at the very top left here, we've got your audio settings where you can set your input, output, sample rate, buffer size, etc. Beneath that, this is where you will save and amend your presets and your preset banks. And then this is where the heart of the program exists. In the left column here, you've got different preset packs from popular artists, including Andy James, Angel Vivaldi, Andrew Wade, and a bunch of other artists that you may be more familiar with than I. And within each preset pack, there is countless presets for you to play with. I've currently got the core pack selected, and within the core pack alone, which is just Tone Hub's um, or STL's own preset pack, there are 60 presets to play around with. So let's go ahead and begin playing with some of these. Now the first preset that's loaded up here is the SLO 100L gain, which obviously stands for low gain. You can see just glimpsing ahead, there's a low, medium and high gain preset with this particular setup. And this setup is based on a Solando SLO 100 and played through using a Fender Jaguar with an SH11 custom pickup. And in the notes here, you can see that this tone was designed for low gain. So you can see that there are a lot of contributing factors to the single preset, and that therefore makes each of the presets within the pack quite unique to itself, because if you change the guitar, if you change the pickup, you change the microphone, the amp, the cab, any of these variables, the preset is gonna sound different. Now visually, no matter what preset you click, it's gonna look exactly the same with the tracing amplifier here. Only the dials will obviously be set in a different position. So therefore you could take the L gain, the SLO 100 L gain here, and if you wanna make it high gain, you can just whiz that gain knob all the way up. Though I wouldn't recommend that because obviously that tone was not designed for high gain, it was designed for low. You might wanna opt for the high gain and then play around with it from there. Now on the tracing amplifier, you can see all of the necessary controls in order to fine tune the tone that you're going for. And then that goes into the cabinet here where you can adjust the position of the microphone from the center to the outside of the cone. There's also a bunch of dials here that you can play with, again, just to fine tune the sound that you're going for. Now of these five variables, two are currently illuminated purple. And that means that these are the only two that are currently active. So there are no effects, this is a dry sound, there's no EQ and there's no stomp boxes in front of the amp. But we can go ahead and change that just by clicking the equalizer here. And you've got to click it twice to illuminate it purple. Otherwise, no matter what adjustments you do here, nothing's going to happen. Now, once again, on the equalizer here, this looks like a two band EQ. To the right of that, you've got the effects section where you've got a reverb, a delay. And if you click this button here, you can go over to some more effects. You've got chorus, flanger, phaser, and tremolo sounds. And then lastly, on the far left, you've got some stomp boxes, including a compressor and three overdrives to choose from. Besides that, that's really all there is to it. As you can see, it's quite straightforward to use. You've got an input and output dial here on the left and the right, as well as a noise gate, which is handy if you have a lot of white noise for those high gain tones. And lastly, an inbuilt tuner. So with the plugin tour aside, let's go ahead and play around with some of these presets now. We'll start off with a clean tone and work our way up to some more high gain tones, because I think clean is always a really good and safe place to start. Let's go ahead and try the first available clean on the core pack here. And I'll change back to the amp view so that you get more of a visual representation of what's going on as I change through some of these presets. Okay, let's add some effects onto this to wetten it up a bit. If we go over to effects and remember you gotta double click that to illuminate it purple. We'll add some reverb. That's a lot of reverb. Let's calm that right down. Much better, good. And then maybe a tiny bit of delay.
Yep. Okay. And we'll also add uh, the compressor at the beginning just to even out some of the tones. We'll stick with that. Let's go ahead and add some effects. I love chorus, it's one of my favorite effects. So let's see what we can do with that. I think I'll add a little bit more volume and uh, gain. It's really nice. I like that. Nice clean sound there. Obviously there's a bunch of other effects that we can play with. I'll run through them real quick. Let's just kind of turn some of the dials up to uh, halfway and see what they sound like. Nice. I like that. Let's play with a phaser. Lastly, the tremolo. Cool, okay, so we've played with some of the effects and let's see what some of the overdrives sound like. Okay, so overdrive one. Let's go ahead and do number two. I imagine that this one's just a bit more intense than number one. Yep. And then number three. That's a lot, way too much, way too bright for my liking, but it's good to have the option there. And I imagine that this is gonna be a lot more useful with maybe some mid gain tones, which we will now begin to move on to. Let's go ahead and check out one of the low gain tones. Number one to begin with. Okay, uh, what else can we do with this one? Let's throw on one of those overdrives. Cool. Let's check out a mid gain tone. And a high gain. Very cool. Let's check out some more. Let's go for Let's see what the Friedman BE100 sounds like on the mid game. I like that. I like the sound of the the dynamic response. That's cool. What about the high gain tone? I think that would sound quite cool with maybe a bit of wetness on there. Let's play with some reverb and maybe some delay. Nice. 
Nice. I like that. That's a great lead tone right there. And we're only on preset six. There's so much to explore here. Let's move along quickly because oh, there is no way that I will be able to get all this done in one video. Let's try uh, mid gain fuzz. Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> Interesting. Let's try a lead tone from this one here. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and check out some tones from another preset pack. There's no way that I'm gonna make it through the lot. This is just Tone Hub's own preset pack, but let's <clears throat> go ahead and move into Andy James's preset pack and see what that sounds like. Let's go for, uh, let's go for number one to begin with. <laughs> That's a lot of gain there, lots of gain. Ah, there's only 31 in this particular pack. Uh, what's this? Okay, let's try just a couple more presets from Angel Vivaldi's pack. We'll literally just do two or three more and then finish off the video because I think this is already quite a long video as it is maybe. So let's try this. A uh, nice clean tone to start with. Oh, there's a lot of effects on there. Very bright. I'd uh, probably opt to maybe take down the presence and the treble a bit. Uh, yeah. Though already, just from slight movements in the tracing amplifier, the, the dials seem very responsive, so that's, that's a good thing. Another one, another lead one with a lot of effects. A lot of effects. Let's calm down a little bit and get uh, some sort of rhythm tone. Alrighty, 
I reckon that's enough for you to listen to. There's a lot of information to take in there already. And I've only just scratched the surface of this program. There's really an incredible amount of presets to explore, ranging from clean tones to crunch tones to high gain to lead fuzz tones. And then you've got the effects to play with and add. So I think that just that concludes what I wanna share in this video. I hope you found it somewhat insightful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, then please do go ahead and let me know in the comment section below, or you can contact STL on their website. That's all for me today. I will see you in the next video. All right, all right, one more, one more. Hmm, I don't even know where to look. Let's, let's go random here. Uh, boom, and then boom. What have I got? Ah, oh, this is from the XFX, interesting, I like that.